What is up, Cheesecake Nation? It is I, Super Chudge Funk, Blast Snatcha, with another action figure review. This time, it's for a very interesting figure that I added to my collection very recently, but I figured he warranted a review right away because he's so different. Uh, this is not quite a Marvel Legends. God, I think this is actually from, like, the old television show line. It's, like... He has, like, little gimmicky stuff. I didn't bring the box or anything, but... This is the Sneak Attack line of Spider-Man figures, and this is the Vulture from it. Now, a lot of these figures aren't very good. Like, all of their, like, legs are posed in a certain way. You know, their arms are posed in a certain way. Vulture is not in that category. He's actually a pretty decent figure, and because... All the other, like the two Marvel Legend Vultures that are out, are ridiculously expensive. And I saw this guy and I'm like, he looked pretty good. So I took a chance, got him, and I'm very happy with him. He has a little bit on the short side, but he's a decrepit old man. So, you know, this is him compared to the newest Spider-Man over here, so... That's about as straight as you can get him to stand up there. So he's a little bit shorter. But, you know, a lot of, you know, you'd be posing a lot of your Spider-Man figures, like, kind of crouching anyway, so. Plus, he'll look a little bit better if you can get him in a flight stand or if you can, you know, hang him from the ceiling or something like that. And then here he is next to... Uh, Spider-Man Classics. Oh, thank you, Dave. Spider-Man Classics. Green Goblin. Oh, there he is on the glider, you know. But, uh... Yeah, so he's a little bit on the short side. So if you really want to get one that's a little closer to, uh, six inches, you know, attempt to buy the other ones, but... Hopefully, sometime soon, we will get a new Vulture, but... I like this one. A little bit on the... A little bit of detail showing there, if my camera will focus. I really like the details in the wings, like the wings themselves are very shiny. I don't know if it's like hard to pick up on the camera, but wings are very shiny. His suit has a lot of little detail in it. Looks kind of furry almost. And, uh, I don't, again, it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but you can see it more, like, on his ab area. Like that same yellowish-green plastic color. There's, like, the same that's on the wings that kind of brushed in throughout the figure, and it just looks really nice, gives it nice texturing. You know, he's got, like, uh, liver spots on his head there and on his hands. Like I said, he's a decrepit old man. Got big old bushy eyebrows. <laughs> His hands are kind of big, but... I don't know. He does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. His arms can go... Here, I got you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. All the way up like that. All the way down to his sides like that, so not too bad on that. Swivel all the way around like that. Ellos can bend that far. Obviously they can't bend too far much just because it's kind of an older figure and... Really wasn't made for articulation, but the articulation isn't bad for what it is. And obviously this is the vault, so you're not going to get him in too many complex poses. And... Yeah, he has... A waist swivel. No. His single jointed knees, so you can only get so much out of that. Doesn't look too bad. His he has no foot articulation at all. But he he stands okay, you know. It's, he's like I have worse figures that do have like foot articulation that can't stand for crap. But, uh oh his head can swivel around a hundred percent, I think. <laughs> so, you can do that if you want, <laughs> have that haunt your nightmares. 
Obviously, he can't look up or anything because, again, he's all Quasimodo'd. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah, that's his um, arm spread out. So you can get him in, like, some flight poses if you want to, like, hang him. Or put him in a flight stand. You know. And uh, he doesn't look too bad. I really like him. I got him in box. So, he was a little under $20. I don't know if that paid too much, but I'd rather pay that than, like, the 50 and 60 or $80 in box for some of those... I, it's the old Toy Biz Marvel Legends Vulture, and then they made a uh, for the third Spider-Man movie. They had like that build a figure Sandman line, which I think this is from. That was from. You know, it also has a Mysterio and like a bunch of other characters. I don't think those are Marvel Legends. I think they're just movie toys. Well, I mean, they're in that scale, you know. Oh yeah. But uh, theoretically, I've never actually seen one. Oh yeah, I, I mean, like Mysterio is, has like a lot of purple on him, and yeah, I really like the looks of him. I just I've never seen one in real life, so yeah, I, yeah. I don't know the scale. I don't I don't think I've even seen a review on any of them. Yeah, I think there's also a Mary Jane from the movie. There, oh, well, I know Shardvis has one, but I don't know. Yeah, that's a completely different one. This is I'm talking like one. It has like a regular dress, and she comes with like a length of pipe or something. <laughs> and a, I don't know, but it's weird. And they all build like a giant like. Monster Sandman from the end of the third movie. But anyway, guys, not a whole lot more to talk about here. It's a pretty interesting figure. If you don't have the money to get those other Vulture figures, I do highly suggest this one as a substitute. But uh, thanks again so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And there he is next to uh, Ninjini. Yeah, I was just seeing. Like, their heads are about the same height. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and to become a member of the Cheapskate Nation today. I am Supercharge Funk. I'm Dave. And we will catch you guys next time. Webtacular. <laughs> <laughs>